Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, all about chilies. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this sauce. Before I get started, you're probably wondering why is she wearing a Christmas hat after Christmas? Well, it's because the time between Christmas Day and New Year's Day is kind of like all the Christmassy period. It's kind of like the time between there, it's like every, nearly every single day has a, a, a design name. And like, you just like, is it Monday? Is it Thursday? Is it Saturday? Is it Sunday? So yeah, I, I think it's like Tuesday or something today. <laughs> but yeah. So, let us review the sauce. It is the Children of the Valley Smoky Oaks. Now I've heard it's apparently that this sauce is named after Dan Reed's son called Oakley, I think. And his son, um, basically this name, this sauce is named after him. Um, <clears throat> so yes. <laughs> Now, also another thing to mention that was really good about this sauce, but you may want to listen in now. Basically, this sauce, every single penny that you donate, like basically every single penny that you spend buying this sauce will go to charity. So if you want to donate to charity, but you also want to buy some lovely hot sauce, then this is a great way to do it. Okay? So there you go, just buy the sauce. <laughs> okay, but first you may want to put the review, so let us do it. Ooh, so on the label right here, we have three skull skeletons in like, like festive hats, like you know the taco, um, kind of like festive ones. Um, you have one of them is playing guitar in the middle, and then two of them are blowing trumpets. I think it's kind of like a festive. Um, it's kind of hard to get the word. Um, just kind of like a festive. It's like the Day of the Dead yeah. festival, the Mexican festival. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Um, and it's kind of got like fire coming up, and it's got like, bushes and everything. And it, this is a pretty sick label as well. Here you go. Have another look at it. Can you see it? <laughs> I can't reach. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you. But I thought I cracked there. Um, alright, ingredients, let us see, cider vinegar, sulfur, which is sulfites, candied sour black cherries and syrup, that sounds actually delicious, which is sour black cherries, sugar, water, glue, wait, hang on, okay, um, sour black cherries, water, which is water, Sorry, <laughs> cider vinegar, sulfites, which is sulfites, candied sour black cherries and syrup, which is sour black cherries, sugar, water, glucose syrup, sour cherry juice, colouring, anthocyanus, citric acid flavourings, and then it also has brown sugar, water, tomato powder, bar, barb and whiskey, and ch chipotle powder, salt, and oregano and also vanilla extract. Vanilla we you on a cake. Um let's see what else. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Refrigerate once open and consume within three months. Shake off for you, sauce may separate, blah blah blah. blah. This is normal. Um half a chili out of four. So I, I'm guessing this one is mild. Um I'm guessing if they had like two chilies would be medium and then more than that would be hot. So I'm guessing this is probably less than mild. Um, hopefully, th this is about a good level for me because when I started on my YouTube channel, I was thinking of just doing mild sauces, and then you see that's kind of um changed into me some of the time me doing super hot ones, but I still do the mild ones, of course. All right, the overall, this is looking like a really good sauce so far, so let's have a little smell. Also, I forgot to mention the color is like a ruby maroon, you can already tell that, but yeah, oh, I can't open this. <laughs> If you open it there, I think it's stuck. My, my hands are gone red. How? Oof. Thank you. Right. Ooh, it's very tomatoey. It is very tomatoey. It smells like, you know, if you ever made your own pizza and like use the sauce, it smells like that. It, it's just amazing. Can you smell the cherries? Let me try. I probably say the tomato kind of overpowers most of the other scent, if I'm being super honest. 
I have to be honest. Mm -hmm. It does smell super good though. Um, let's give it a little try. How much should I go for? Quite a bit. Okay. Don't know if I should. Do, should, do I need to shake it? Okay. Ah, I'm just scared. All right. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool now. Yes. Come on, come out. All right. Sorry, this is taking forever. Here you go. This should be enough. I'm gonna rate the heat up this as well. I don't think I'm. I'm scared that this is gonna be hard. Can you, can they see it? Okay, thanks. It smells exactly the same on the spoon. It, it does smell good. Three, two, one. Oh my God, that is strong. That's a little bit hot. Hmm. What's it taste of? Tomatoes. It tastes a bit like black cherry. Does that is that what it is? Black cherry? Is it just cherry? So black cherry is in the thing. Oh, it is black cherries in syrup. That is it. Okay. Smoky. Yeah, I'd say uh, yeah. I actually quite say quite a bit smoky. So the main three flavors are kind of. Black cherries, tomato, well, the strongest one is tomato, then cherries, then smokiness actually is probably more, you can more taste it than the cherry. But this is actually quite a really nice sauce. What would I ha have this on? I'm not sure. It, I mean, probably, it kind of looks like a Mexican sauce, you can um, see from the label. Tacos. Yeah, it's gonna be tacos. Burritos. <laughs> yeah, um, the heat's kind of it's kind of like one shot of heat, and then it just like. Rrr. I'd say probably when you first have the heat, it's probably about a three out of ten, and then it dies down, and now it's about a zero point two or something. Like I still feel it there, but it's hardly there. If you get what I mean. So this is actually a really good sauce. Remember, all the money that is this is for charity. This is a this is a really nice guy who's doing this as well. It's very very selfless, which is really nice. So um, thank you, Dan Reed. Um, yes. So this is the Children of the Valley Smoky Oaks. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Make sure you go get some of this sauce. Does it have a um, link? I think it's chili. Is it chili of the valley? Children of the valley. It says at the top there. It's the children of the valley, but let me see. Oh, it is chili of the valley. It's made by chili of the valley. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the um, website is on there, but it's. I think it's chili of the valley dot co dot uk. So everyone. Yes, there we go. Yeah, so everyone go to chili of the valley dot co dot uk. This it's is... actually chiliofv.co.uk. Um, I'm not sure if this is sold out or, or whether it's on sale yet, but if it is on the website, go get one. Definitely. This is one of the best sources I've reviewed, and it's very, very cool. So, thank you very much for watching this video on my channel, All About Tea, and I'll see you next time. Pardon? Happy. Oh, yeah. Also, have a happy new year. Hopefully, your 2021 gets set off really good and i hope you enjoyed your christmas as well hope you got to do something <laughs> um yeah so thank you everyone for watching this video bye go get this bye